Once the MPI environment is initialized, we have a parallel code, meaning the processors know about each other and they are able to send data between each other. However, both processors are still reading through the code independently. This means that if we only want one processor to do something, we need to have an if statement, so only that processor will do it and not all of the other processors reading the code. For example, looking at this diagram, when we want to assign start and ending I indices on processor 0, we could write, we'd have to have an if statement, if id this is equal to 0, then, and we can start assigning start and end values. So I start easy store. So I'm going to call the starting I value for the easy component for storing field components. We're going to start with 1. And I start for easy update. The first easy field we're going to update, that's going to start with 2 since the first one is a PEC. Then the end easy store is equal to 5 in our example here. And you don't have to use the same variable names that I am, but this is just an example. So I end easy update, the ending I value for updating field components on processor 0, that's the one we're working on right now, is also 5. And then I can have end if. Then for processor 1, we can have another if statement. If id this is equal to 1, then um, I'll have i start easy store. We're going to have all the same variable names here. But on this processor, for storing the EZ fields, we're going to include this ghost cell, so I'm going to put 5 here. But for updating the EZ components, the start value here, this is going to be 6, because we only start updating from here. And I end EZ store is IMAX. We're going to store all the way up to the BEC. And I end easy update is I max minus 1. And then we can have end if. Take a moment, and if you haven't already, define how you would set the HY indices using a similar approach as what we used here for the EZ fields.